Aloha everyone. I'm going to be teaching you a kapa craft using a paper bag. Here's the materials you're going to need. First, any type of paper bag will do. This is a small size paper bag that I had at home. You also need some scissors as well as some sharpies or a sharpie. Next, take the paper bag and turn it upside down. Loosen all the seams at the bottom. Carefully do this so you don't rip the paper bag too much. Continue to find the seam that keeps the paper bag together and go ahead and take it apart to make the paper bag longer. Next, continue to take off the handles carefully without making any holes. Next, you're going to take your scissors, fold the bag in half, and cut that right down the middle. That'll give you two pieces, and then you're going to cut off the bottoms to make it cleaner. Remember, you do this to both pieces. Next, I like to fold my paper in rows. You can fold it in rows going across or maybe up and down depending on what you want or even in a diagonal once that gives you columns you can start to add your designs you're gonna take your sharpie and be very creative there are a few kappa designs from online that you can take inspiration from or you can just make your own designs have fun! Once you're all done, take a look at the hard work you've done and add color if you want. To make it soft like real cup of cloth, you're going to need to, that's right, crumple it. Be careful. After you open it up and repeat this process again, the more you do it, the softer your paper bag will turn, which will be just like real cup of cloth. Repeat the crumple process at least 50 times. That will make your cuppa very soft. Thanks for joining me. Ahui ho, malama pono.